Hello, my lovely brogies. I thought I'd sign on just a little bit um, more towards the beginning because I really want to disclaimer what I do, disclaimer. I really want to highlight, it's probably a better word, what I put into the live chat. So I know not only of you join me to chat and waiting for it. So if we get any joiners, maybe you're all rushing in from lunchtime. If you have just joined us, please, please, please take a little look over at the live chat over here. I put some really important health and safety stuff in there. Um, just to cover some main points on that, the main point of it is if you have any injuries, any pregnancies, any other um, underlying health conditions that I need to be aware of, please, please, please do let me, let me know in the chat so I can offer the appropriate advice, appropriate modifications as we move throughout class. Um, also, if you do have any underlying health conditions or anything like that, um, and you feel like it might impact your practice at all, anything you're unsure of, please, please, please do check with your doctor before engaging in any kind of physical um, activities. So whether this is very good or with that. So just to let you know, today we're going to be working on, so this is like, just like this nice, we have to do this at the beginning. So I want to make sure that you're nice and safe at home. I don't want to scare you off or anything like that. Don't worry. We're not doing anything dangerous. Um, well, not doing anything dangerous, provide that you listen to your body and you listen to like medical advice and you need, you let me know if you need any modifications or any extra advice. Um, so today we're going to be working on upper body. So if you have any kind of like shoulder injuries, anything like that, anything, even if you've had them in the past, anything like that, please, please do be really, really careful. Again, as I said, if you needed to seek medical like opinion, first of all, before you engage in classes, do that. If you need to let me know about any of these, like it's please, please, please do let me know in the live chat so I can offer the appropriate modifications for you. But otherwise, we're going to have fun. Um, so, Broga, if you see your very, very first Broga class, don't want to scare you away with all of that. Don't worry, you'll be totally fine along to you're like a generally fit, healthy, normal person, no injuries going on, all good. So today we're working on upper body Broga. So we're going to be working into building the strength throughout our shoulders, throughout our biceps, our triceps, even it comes, so it's upper body focused, we work the rest of the body as well. We need to use the lower body and the core to support us throughout this. So I'm going to be working on the form. It's going to be an all body workout with this nice upper body focus. So just be, do be very, very careful with shoulders. We're going to be going into some potential inversions towards the end of class. So turning ourselves upside down. So please, please, please make sure you've not got any hazards around you and do take it careful and at your own pace, particularly when we are going upside down. So be super careful with that. I don't want anyone hurting themselves at home. I'll be giving you all the tips as we move along. If you need to stop at any point during class, you're of course welcome. Take a break. If you need to stop entirely, you're free to log out, need water. Please be careful. It is warm today to so make sure you hydrate as well. Right, that is enough of that. Also, feel free. If you just have questions or anything like that, feel free to get interactive. Say hey in the chat. Um, you can pop it out if it's not already there. But we will get ourselves started. It's going to be an hour's class. Uh, well, after a babble, probably like 55 minute class after this. So we're going to get our first Um So progress, we've not done it before. It is a yoga and fitness crossover. So taking all of that lovely flowy stuff from yoga, but we're going to be breaking it down into sets and reps. So with Broga, we always offer progressions for everything. So we move along. We take the first set. We do that all together. You see how you're at. See if that works for you. If you want to take it further, we move on. We have an extra progression. So there's something here for everyone. Within each block, we'll be working to build a strength in a specific part of our muscle, so to say, or upper body focus. And I'll let you know what we're working towards during it. We always begin our breathing class with a nice little bit of breathing. We then work into our wandering test to start to warm ourselves up through to our vinyasa, and then we move on to those specific blocks. Have kind of a nice little cool down and relaxation for the end. Sound good, my loves? Let's get started. Bring your feet together. Toe joints touching, ankle joints slightly apart. Raise the toes, spread them nice and wide, and place them down one by one by one, starting at the baby toe, ending in the big toe. Press through all four corners of your feet for your arches start to lift. Squeeze the calves, squeeze the quads, squeeze the hands, your feet the bottom, draw the pelvis under. Draw that belly in, reach it all the way up, scroll through the crown of the head. Shoulders come up to the ears, you roll them down the back, turn the palms to face forwards. Beautiful. Gently close up that eyes if that feels comfortable. We're going to start to work on our breath, so really starting to oxygenate our bodies, starting to calm our nervous system down, lowering our cortisol, our stress hormones. 
So take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale side out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose and exhale side out through the mouth. This time, inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. Inhale deep into the belly and exhale through the nose. Inhale into the ribs so the them expand and exhale through the nose. Inhale into the chest, feel it lift. And exhale through the nose. Bring that all together. We inhale into belly, ribs, chest. And exhale through the nose. Inhale into belly, ribs, chest. And exhale through the nose. Beautiful. Gently blink open those eyes. We're starting to get ourselves moving. I want you to really concentrate on keeping that breath throughout first and breathing in and out through the nose as fully as possible. Breath is so important. So if you need to slow a movement down or anything like that, you can do to come back to that breath. So let's start to get ourselves moving. We're wondering if we're waking up our posterior chain. So on your next inhale, bring your hands all the way up towards the side. Palms turn to face, shoulders pull away from the ears. So pull the shoulders back and down. See if you can inhale, bring a little bit more space across the upper back. So you're turning your armpits into face, which are allowing the upper back to become broad. Inhale, can you raise the arms up a little bit taller? Exhale, make sure the shoulders haven't come up towards the ears. Keep drawing those down. Beautiful. Inhale, draw in the belly. Exhale, squeeze the bottom to up the pelvis under. Inhale, reach. And on your exhale, we're going to hinge at the hips, fold it forward. You can bend your knees as much as you need to bring the hands down towards the mat. Inhale, find a line through the upper body. Exhale, draw the chest down towards the shins, relax the head and neck. Beautiful. Inhale, see if you can draw your belly right in towards your thighs. So belly to thigh contact here. Exhale, maybe the palms come flat towards the ground. Inhale, can you lift your hips up a little bit taller? Maybe start to lengthen out those legs. Exhale, fold it a little bit deeper. Then inhale, we lift it up halfway, so lengthen out those legs. Draw the shoulders back and together. Exhale. Inhale, reach it long through the hand, crown of the head. Weight comes into the toes. Exhale, roll the shoulders back. Keep squeezing them together. One more. Inhale, we grow and lengthen. Exhale, we're going to fold it all the way back down towards the mat. Maybe the palms will come all the way flat this time. Again, you can bend the knees as much as you need to here. Inhale, keep finding length through that upper body. Exhale, chest comes towards the chin. Relax that head and neck. Inhale, can you lengthen out the legs? Maybe the legs start to straighten. Exhale, press those palms down towards the mat if you can. Beautiful. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, raise the hands all the way back up towards the sky. Exhale, we come back to our Tadasana. We're going to start to speed this up a little bit and add a little bit of progression into it as well. So we're going to do one breath at a time. By our far, our last little movement in this, we'll take a few extra breaths. It's a little bit new. Inhale, hands raise up towards the sky. Exhale, you hinge and fold forward. Inhale, you halfway lift, long spine, squeeze shoulders back and together. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat. This time, maybe the hands start to come underneath the feet. You need to take feet hip width to do this. You can do that. Maybe the hands come, just maybe it's just the fingertips tapping under the toes. Maybe the toes are all the way up towards the wrist joints here. Be careful. Inhale, lengthen through the side of the head. Exhale, we fold it down towards the mat. Inhale, can you send a little bit of weight more into your toes? Maybe the heels even start to lift away from the mat. Exhale, keep folding. Inhale, hips up tall. Exhale, fold a little deeper. Maybe the elbows start to come out. Beautiful. Inhale, release the hands. Exhale. Inhale, hands raise all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, come back to us. And so we're going to do two more rounds of our, of our wandering test. One breath at a time, even the bringing the hands underneath, maybe. Inhale, hands raise up towards the sky. Exhale, you hinge and fall forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms come flat, or maybe hands come underneath the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, release the hands, raise them all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, come back to that Tadasana. Inhale, arms raise up tall. Exhale, you hinge and fall forward. Inhale, you halfway lift. Exhale, hands come flat, or they come underneath the feet. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, release the hands, raise them all the way up towards the side. 
Let's go come back to your Tadasana. We're going to start to work in a little bit more now, coming into our vinyasa, getting the lower body a little bit more involved. So building upon this one joint test to get a full body movement. It's what we call a sun salutation as well in yoga. Inhale, hands raised up towards the sky. Exhale, you hinge and fall forward. Inhale, you halfway and squeeze shoulders back and get a retraction. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat. Step the, um, step the left foot back and come into this nice little low lunge position. Beautiful. So my front leg is forward. My right knee is set over my right ankle. Beautiful. Inhale, we lift up through the chest. Exhale, we roll the shoulders back. Beautiful. Inhale, I want you to lengthen through that back leg, press into that heel, squeeze your bottom, squeeze your quad, nice. Exhale, see if you can release your hips further down towards the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, press into that heel. Exhale, pull the hips sink down a little bit lower. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, palms come flat towards the ground. We set the right foot back to meet the left. We come into this plank position. Drop down the knee. Make sure your shoulders are set over your wrist. Turn your elbow pits to face forward. I don't want your elbows coming out during this, so not out this way. I want them drawing in towards your rib cage as we bring it down. So elbow pits always facing forwards. Core nice and tight. Squeeze the bottom. So engage that core. Exhale, we hover it forwards an inch, half. Um, exhale, we bring it forwards an inch. Take it down halfway. Elbows still wrapping in towards the rib cage. Beautiful. Then lower it all the way down towards the mat this time. Press into those hands, feet come together and stay down towards the mat. Inhale, lift it up into our baby cobra. If you can draw the chest through, draw the shoulders back and together. Beautiful. Maybe we can test our strength here. We lift the hands away from the mat. Squeeze those shoulders. Exhale, hands come back down. Maybe we take it a little bit further. We press into those hands, lift it all the way up into our up dog hips, drag towards the uh, wrist. Inhale, lift it all the way up. Exhale. Maybe we take this further still into our full up dog. Start to press into the tops of the feet, lift the thighs away from the mat. Beautiful. Inhale. And then exhale, drop the knees and the bottom back towards the heels. Knees go out wide and take it into our child's pose before that comes down towards the mat. Beautiful. And this is our child's pose. So our child's pose is our resting pose um, throughout program. So if you need to come here at any point, you need a break. This is here for you. Um, if you want to be active whilst you're in your child's pose, you want to get a bit of active rest in there. On each inhale, you need to reach your arms all the way out longer. Find that length in the spine, but don't let the shoulders come up to the ears. Exhale, press your bottom back towards your heels. Feel a nice little stretch through the lower back. Beautiful. The further you take your knees out, the more of a stretch you get through your hips. But you can take them out as wide as feels comfortable for you. Allow main thing, allow your forehead, if you can, relax it down towards the mat or gesturing down towards the mat if it doesn't quite reach. And really come back to your breath whilst you're here. This is your recovery here. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. I know we don't necessarily need recovery right now. We've just started, but you will do. Beautiful. But we're going to get ourselves started. So you know all the things about child's pose now. We're going to bring into our downward facing dog. So bring it back into a tabletop position. Tuck under your toes, lift up your hips all the way towards your sky, towards your sky, towards the sky, and then coming into our nice downward facing dog. It's our first down dog of the class, so feel free to have a nice bit of free movement in here. Maybe you're bending alternative knees, raising and lowering heels, maybe nodding the head, yes, shake it low, do whatever it is that you need to do to find and get yourself comfortable. We're going to wiggle the hips, maybe you're raising and lowering legs. Just find that little bit of organic movement through this. Beautiful. And then come to find stillness in your downward facing dog. We're going to really start to work on this position. So hands are about shoulder width apart, maybe touched wider. Your feet are about hip width apart. Toes turn in slightly, create a little bit of internal rotation of the legs. Everybody take a deep bend of your knees. Inhale, belly comes towards the thigh, send the feet to the Send the hips all the way up towards the thigh. Exhale, start to straighten out the legs, bring the heels down towards the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the upper body and lift through the spine a little bit more. Relax the head and neck. Exhale, can your heels come a little bit closer. Beautiful. Then on your next inhale, raise that left leg all the way up towards the sky. Three-legged dog. Exhale, my knee's going to come towards my nose. I'm going to set my foot between the hands. Maybe only comes halfway. I need to give it a shuffle. Totally fine. 
go back into this lunge on the other side. Inhale, remember we raise onto the fingertips, lift the chest, exhale, roll shoulders down the back. Inhale, press into that back heel, left in the leg, squeeze the bum, exhale, take the hips down. Inhale, grow through both ends of your body, exhale, sink your hips. Inhale, exhale, palms come down towards the mat, exhale, step the left foot back, coming into our plank. Option to still take it from the knees or progression, we take it from the toes, shoulders step over the wrist. I'm pressing into my heels. This is our plank position. I'm squeezing my quads, squeezing my bottom. So basically everything is on here. Tightening my core, doming through my upper back. Then from here, elbows stay in. So elbow hips face forward. We take it forward an inch, down halfway. So my, my elbow stays out over my wrist. Rear elbows go into a door cage. We flip over the toes. Inhale, we roll it up into our up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, press it back through to your downward facing dog. Three breaths in your down dog. Nice. So inhale, hips high, long spine. Exhale, heels low. And again, thinking about when we are stood up standing, when we just see if you can create a bit more space through the upper back. Turn your armpits into face each other. Imagine those two little smiley faces on either armpit. We try to get them to come in, have a little conversation. Allow your back to become broad. Last breath, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Beautiful. Then from here, inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Thanks for need to notice that foot between the hands. This time, pick up that back foot, step it to meet the right foot, coming into our fold. Inhale, hands raise up towards the sky. Exhale, come back to our Tadasana. So, with those lunges, that's our modified Vinyasa. But I'm going to include some jumps in this now. So, we're starting to progress it, making it a little bit more challenging, a little bit quicker. We'll go for it once slower, and then we'll do it a few more times. A little bit quicker. Inhale, hands raise up towards the side. Exhale, you hinge and fold forward. Inhale, half on your squeeze shoulders back and together. Exhale, hands come down towards the mat. This time, press into those hands, jump it circle, or float it back into your plank position. Exhale, we take it forwards an inch, down halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, we roll over the toes into our up dog. And exhale, we take it back through to our downward facing dog. Take your breath. Inhale, a little open. Exhale, heels down, beautiful. Inhale, broad across the back. Exhale, beautiful. Then inhale, we bend the knees, raise on the toes. Exhale, we can step. Or we can jump, bend the knees, lift the hips up tall, send it up, feet come down. And then inhale, hands raise all the way up towards the sky. It doesn't have to be quite like that. It could just be like a bit more elephant y fun to be in there. That's fine. But the lighter you are, the better it is. Right, so we're going to take that a little bit quicker now. We're going to have Two more rounds of vinyasa, quicker, one breath at a time. So inhale, hands raise up towards the sky. Exhale, you hinge and fall forward. Inhale, you halfway lift, squeeze shoulders back and together. Exhale, hands come down, jump it, step it, float it back into your plank, coming down, chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, you roll over the toes into your up dog or baby cobra. Exhale, press it back through to your down dog. Two breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose for one. Inhale. And exhale for two. Inhale, you bend the knees, raise on the toes. Exhale, jump step, float the feet towards the hands. Inhale, raise those hands all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, come back to your Tadasana one more time. Inhale, hands raise all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, hinge of the hips, fold forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, keep squeezing the shoulders back and together. Exhale, hands come down, jump it, step it, float it back into your plank position. Exhale, take it forwards and down, chaturanga. Inhale, roll over the toes upward, lift that chest. Exhale, press it back through to your downward facing dog. Lovely. Two breaths. Deep inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. You should be feeling a lot warmer now. So do take care. It's rather warm today. If you need to stop, take water. Um, please do. I know in lots of yoga they say like not drinking water throughout class, it builds heat in your body. But it's warm outside and it's broken. So it's just fitness yoga crossover. So drink water if you need it. I highly advise it. Beautiful. And then from your downward facing dog, we're going to go into our first block of broga. So drop your knees down towards the mat. We're taking it into our table to the left, tabletop position, one of our learning positions of broga. So first block is our chaturanga block. Chaturanga. So those are little push-ups we're doing, those yoga push-ups. This is what we're going to be working on. So we already know where we're going with this. So we're starting a lot of this. So you can bring it with me. We're going to do two sets of five. First set is going to be from the knees, second set is going to be from the toes, 
And then we're going to include some little holds at the end of that second set as well. So if you're feeling really confident and you're like, I've got this, I'm super strong, you can take five sets from the toes if you want to. So we have those options. I'm walking through knees first. Shoulder set over the wrist. Beautiful. Knees come back. The further we take our knees back, the harder it is. The closer they come in, a little bit easier it is. Engaging my core. So this is an off and not fat bending. Squeeze my core. Now, so you found that activation, press into the hands. Elbows are going to stay in towards the rib cage. You take it towards an inch. Elbows come in all the way halfway and inhale, bring it up for one. Exhale, we take it forwards down. Two. Inhale, brings it up. Exhale, take it forwards and down for three. Inhale, brings it up. Exhale, take it forwards down four. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it forwards down five. Inhale, bring it back. Bottom comes back towards the heels. Take it into a child's or into a down dog if you're feeling super strong. So child's pose, down dog are our two resting postures. You can take whichever one feels good for you. We've got one more breath in our resting posture. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. If you need longer to rest as well, take longer. But if you want to get it done, let's get it done. Bring it back into that tabletop position. And this time, option to take it from the toes. Also, by the way, guys, if you are struggling, you will move that knees down. You can always bring that round the halfway. You can take it all the way down and just banana peel it back up. That's cool as a regression as well. But if you're taking it further, we're going from the toes this time, maybe. We take it into this plank position. Beautiful. My hips aren't sagging down. They're not piking up. I'm keeping them nice and even. I'm journeying through my upper back. But when I come down, I retract my shoulders. Elbows go in, press into those heels, core nice and strong, legs strong. We take it forwards an inch, elbows in, down halfway. Inhale, bring it up for one. Exhale, take it forwards down for two. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it forwards down for three. You've got this. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, take it forwards down for four. Inhale, up. Exhale, take it forwards down for five. And we're holding for five, four. Three, you've got this. Two, one, inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it back, down dog, or child's pose. Beautiful. You've got three breaths here this time. That is the end of our shadow on your block. We are one block down in your in broga, even. There we go. So that's how we do our blocks. We work with them. So that was a smaller one of the blocks. We just banged out some chaturangas there, some yoga push ups. So, really, we are working the front of our shoulders here. We're working our backs when we come down. We're working into that retraction. We're still having our step here in our rhomboid first. Beautiful. Wonderful. Take those last little breaths. Then we're going to work it into a little bit more. So there's a different block, but it is a progression on the chaturanga. So we're going to be working some one leg variations thereof. But obviously, there is something for everyone. So when you're ready, drop those knees back down towards the mat. We're taking it back into this tabletop position. We're going to work through the options all together. So just to make sure that everyone is safe at home. Shoulders step over the wrist. But if you've been to class a few times and you want to take the progression, you know them already, feel free to. So shoulders step over wrist, elbow pits facing forwards. You can come along with me with this one. Belly engaged, beautiful. So I want you to lift up your right leg. I don't want the toes turning outwards. Turn your toes down towards the mat. If you need to flex the foot to do so, you flex the foot or you point, whatever feels good. Keep that core engaged. On the exhale, we're going to take it forwards an inch, down halfway, elbow still in, and inhale brings it back up. Simple as that. Okay, we're going to be doing five on the right, five on the left. So same side, we just swap over. And then we're going to start to offer some more progressions next round. Right leg lift, prepare, inhale. Exhale, take it forward, down for one. Inhale, brings it back up. Exhale, down for two. Inhale, brings it back up. Exhale, down for three. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down for four. Elbow still rocking. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale, down for five. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Drop the right knee down. Lift up that left leg. Toes point down towards the mat. Leg engaged. Core engaged. Prepare. Inhale. Exhale, takes it down for one. Elbows wrap in. Inhale, takes it back up. To learn from through that leg. Exhale, takes it down for two. Inhale, takes it back up. Exhale, takes it down for three. Inhale, up. Exhale, down for four. Inhale, take it up. Last one. Exhale, down five. Inhale, bring it back up. Knee drops down. Bottom back towards heels, child's or downward facing dog. 
you're more than welcome to take a vinyasa in between these sets as well. If you want more, if you want more energy, I'm not giving you enough, maybe it's not challenging enough for you, you can always put in more. Beautiful. Take a breath. We've got one more breath in our resting posture, whatever that is for you. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Beautiful. Bring it back to that tabletop position. Shoulder set over the wrist, elbow pits face forwards. Again, we're going to get it, bring it together, all together. We can do this first little test one all together. So we need to feel what it's like when you slow down. Raise that right leg up towards the side. It's the same deal. Make sure my left toes are tucked under this time. So you can take that original one just coming down. So we exhale, we take it forwards down halfway, elbows in. Inhale just comes back up to here. If you want to progress it further, I press into that left toe, lift my knee away from the mat. We'll reach my right leg all the way up towards the side. And on the exhale, my knee drops down. Nose halfway. Inhale, we press it all the way back up towards the side. Cool. You've had a play around with that one, or maybe you just watched. That's really cool. We've got five on the right side, five on the left side. Let's get this done. Shoulder set over the wrist. Elbow pits face forward. What I do not want to see at all, and I won't see it, but what I want to trust that I won't see is elbows dropping out towards the side. If elbows drop out towards the side, you bring it back down to that other aggression. Nobody wants any busted up shoulders or wrists. Yes. Beautiful. Prepare. Lift up that right leg. Tap over the left toes. You're going with us with that progression. Draw the belly in. Inhale. Exhale. Take it forwards down for one. Inhale. Press it back up. Press into that toes. Reach the leg along towards the side. Exhale. Knee comes down. Nose. Inhale. Bring it all the way back up. Reach towards the side. Exhale. Knee. Nose. Inhale. Set up as high as you can for three. Exhale. Knee. Nose. Elbows wrap in. Inhale. Send it all the way back up for four. Exhale. Knee. Nose, inhale, send it all the way back up, five, exhale, bring it back to that tabletop position, beautiful, straight over to the other side, this time the left leg lifts up, toes point down towards the mat, belly draws in, elbows in, exhale, take it forwards down for one, inhale, bring it up, tuck under the toes, lift that left leg up towards the side, exhale, knee, nose, inhale, send it back up for two, exhale, knee, nose, inhale, send it all the way back up towards the side, Exhale, knee, nose, inhale, send it up, four, last one, exhale, drop down the knee, the nose, inhale, reach that leg as high as you can for five, exhale, bring it back down, child's pose or downward facing dog, whatever feels good for you, nice, deep inhale through the nose, we have two breaths here, exhale, through that nose, beautiful, so remember to hydrate, beautiful, last breath, in your resting pose. Lovely. Last progression that we have here for you. Bring it back to that tabletop position. You can work any of the things that we had before. If not, we're going to be taking it. Just take a quick look over at the moment. We're going to be taking it from our plank position. From here, don't pick the upper back. Shoulder set over wrist. I lift my right leg up. Elbows draw in. Exhale, I take it forwards down. Inhale, press it up. Right leg goes all the way back towards the side. So same deal. My knee just never touches down. Cool. We've got that. We've got this five on the right side, five on the left side. Let's get it done, team. Come into your option. Whether it's still on the knees, whether you've advanced, you can do this. From the toes, beautiful. Raise up that right leg. Point the leg. Squeeze it. Solid, solid up. Solid up the core. Engage the core. Shoulders. Draw back, elbows in, exhale, you take it forwards down halfway. Inhale, send that leg all the way up towards the sky. Exhale, take it forwards down for two. Inhale, send that leg all the way back up. Exhale, take it forwards, elbows in down for three. Inhale, send it all the way back up. Exhale, take it forwards down for four. Inhale, send it all the way back up. Exhale, forwards down to the side. Inhale, send it all the way back up. Bring that leg down, take it back to plank or tabletop. We lift up that left leg straight over to the other side. Exhale, take it forwards down one. Inhale, leg goes back up towards the side. Exhale, forwards down for two. Inhale, sends it back. Exhale, forwards down for three. Inhale, sends it back. Exhale, forwards down four. Elbows stay in. Inhale, sends it back. Exhale, forwards down for five. Inhale, send it all the way back. Reach. Exhale, foot comes down. Downward facing dog. All tired pose. Three breaths. Beautiful. We are 
another block down, two blocks down, we've done our chaturanga block, we have done our dirty dog block, so that was a dirty dog, sorry, I did not disclaim with that at the beginning, so I said it was a progression, I described it, I just didn't say the name, that was our dirty dog block. So we're there, we were working into, again, the same as our chaturanga, our shoulders, our rhomboids are starting here, but also still cool and getting a little bit of the legs involved. So we've got our glutes involved there, that lift of the leg. Beautiful. Take one more breath in your resting posture. Lovely. Beautiful. And then from here, bring it back down into that tabletop position. We have got our, our next block is our side plank block or our rockstar block because it works into both. It kind of gets described as both, so side plank. We're going to be working a bit more into our bleats, into our side body here. So our core is not just these little front bit of our animals. It's not just these six pad abs. Our core is our side body as well, so the obliques here. And also our back too. Um, so we work a little bit of that. We're going to be working to strengthen our shoulder. Our shoulder's through this nice little straight arm position. So we're going to be stacking it. And then here using our bleats, to, obliques even, to support it. So let's, let's do this together. Coming down into our tabletop position, we're going to take the regression first together. Don't bring your upper back. Beautiful. Core engaged. Bring your right hand underneath your face. Stack your shoulder over your wrist up to press into the ground. Find that nice little elevation through the shoulder. So I'm really pressing and lifting through my shoulder here. It's almost as though I come onto my tip top, tip, fingertips of the other hand. Slightly. Right the feet, the feet go out towards the right hand side. So I'm sending them. I'm just pinning the knees, sending them right. Send the left foot backwards. Nice. From here, inhale, send the left hand up towards the sky as we rotate onto our side. And this might seem super easy for you. Like, oh, I'm just hanging out here. Everyone can make this challenging. I want you to squeeze your bum, press your hips up a little taller. Beautiful. Reach, reach, reach through that left hand. Everybody can get activation here. Press into that right hand. Reach up through the left. Stack it. Inhale, can you send your hips up a little taller? Squeeze the bum. See if you can press the hips forward a little bit too. Holding three, two. And one, exhale, bring it back through into that tabletop position. This time the left hand comes underneath the face. We stack that left shoulder over our wrist. Feet go out towards the left hand side. So I'm literally just moving them that way. Beautiful. Right leg extends out behind us. Inhale, right hand reaches open towards the side. Reach it all the way up. So we're not kind of just loosey-goosey here. We inhale, reaching as long as we can, pressing into that hand, squeeze the bottom. Lengthen out through that right leg, holding for three, for two, and one. Exhale, take it down. Two breaths, child, or downward facing dog. Feel free to pop a vinyasa in here as well if you want a bit more movement. Pop that vinyasa in. Beautiful. One more breath in your resting posture. Then we take it through our progressions. Bring it back to that tabletop position. If you're still, if that side plank was challenging for you, you keep with that, right? And that's how you find it. You come back each week, and gradually you find that strength. You're like, oh yeah, I'm feeling really strong in the supported side plank now. I can try the progression. This is what we do. We keep coming back. We keep building and finding that strength. So if you're coming with me for that new challenge, we're going to take it through into our plank position. Maybe you've been there the whole time. Right hand's going to come underneath the face. We're doing this all together. Stack the shoulder over the wrist. Inhale, lift that left hand open towards the sky. So I'm just on the side of the feet. Beautiful. We're holding the three. Inhale, hips tall. The two, so I'm not letting my hips sag down. They're not in a line. They're actually just nice little C shape. But two and one. Exhale, bring it back down into your plank position. Straight over to the other side. The left hand underneath the face this time. Shoulder stacked directly over that wrist. Inhale, right hand lifts up towards the sky. Beautiful. Hold for three. Press those hips up tall. The two, reach through that right hand. And one, exhale, hand comes down towards the mat, drop the knees down, or hinge your back down up. Even take a bit of the meeting back. Two breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. There's always options to add more in, there's options to chill it out if that's what you're feeling today. So work at your level, work at your pace, but challenge yourself. So don't just coast along, do the thing that you find a little bit difficult. To push yourself forward, always to continue to grow. Nice. Next round. With that in mind, we have more progressions. So, from the tabletop position, 
pick your option. If you're coming with me for that progression, we take it into table and into a plank position. Right hand comes underneath the face, shoulder steps over the wrist. Inhale, lift that left hand open towards the side. Same idea. This time we just lift up that left foot, plonk it on top of our right. So we're stacking the feet, just challenging the balance a bit more. We're holding for three. Lift the hips up taller. Reach. Exhale. Beautiful. Try not to let it roll forwards. Keep that nice and open. So we're stacked like a little paper thin thing. For two. And the one. Exhale. Hand comes down towards the mat. Straight over to that other side. The left hand underneath the face. Inhale. Right hand reaches up. Lift up that right foot. Stack the foot. We're holding for three. Hips tall. For two. Squeeze the core. So draw into those obliques for one. And exhale, bring it back down, vinyasa or not, meaning down dog or child's pose for two breaths. In through the nose and out through the nose. Beautiful. I probably use that word more often than I should in Broga and yoga classes. So if anyone has a suggestion for a new adjective, drop it in the live chat for me. I'll bring that in for you. It can be as retro as you like as well. I just like using sipping if you want me to. <laughs> anyway, right. Enough of my chat. Let's move on to our next progression. So coming back, find that plank position. Right hand comes underneath the face, shoulder step over the wrist. We roll onto the side, lift that left hand. You know where we're going. We stack the feet. This time, next progression. This left leg lifts all the way up towards the sky. It could just be here. It could be all the way up here, like a full on star shape, holding for three. Then you lift it up high and then you point the toe for two and one. Exhale, we take it back through to plank position, other side. Left hand underneath the face, inhale, right hand lifts up. Maybe we set the feet, maybe that leg lifts, maybe it's just a little, maybe it's all the way up, holding for three. Hold for two and one, bring it back down. Take it free of vinyasa or not, meet in child's pose or downward facing dog. Lovely. Those were all our side plank progressions, and now we're going to work into something super cool in this block called a rock star, or maybe some of you know it as a wild thing um, from your usual yoga, cl yoga classes if you've been to those. Take that last breath in your resting posture. Beautiful. Bring it back into that tabletop position. So we're pressing back down a little bit to come into this first of all, into our supported side plank. So take a little look over the screen first of all, because I want to walk you through this one to make sure you're nice and safe. My right hand's going to come underneath my face. Feet come out towards the right hand side, my left leg extends. Inhale, left hand lifts up, so we're in the supported side plank. Then from here, I'm going to lift my left leg up, hinge at the knee, tap the foot down, and inhale, rotate the chest open, and we have come into this supported wild thing here. So it's like a, it's got a rock stuff. And we're gonna bring it back. While I'm here though, I'm squeezing my bottom, I'm pressing my hips forward. I'm trying to inhale, lift my chest, exhale, find this rotation through the shoulder, find that leg opening. My arms are reaching all the way long over my head. And exhale, bring it back down. So let's do that all together. So you've seen where you're going now, you've got that visualization. Bring it into that tabletop position. Right hand comes underneath the face. Feet go out towards the right side. Left leg extends behind you. Inhale, left arm reaches up towards the sky. Inhale, lift that left leg. Bend the knee. Tap that foot down behind you and inhale, rotate it open. Bring it into our rock star. We're here for five. Inhale, lift chest, reach along through that left hand. Exhale, find that nice rotation through the shoulder. Beautiful. Holding for four. Inhale, squeeze one and press hips high for three. Holding two, reach, reach, reach through that hand for one. And exhale, bring it back down to center. Same thing, other side. This time, the left hand comes underneath the face. Feet go out towards the left side. First of all, really make sure that left shoulder stacked over the left wrist. We'll extend out through the right leg. Right hand lifts up towards the sky. We lift up that right leg. We bend the knee, tap the toe down behind you. Inhale, rotate, reach as long as we can. So maybe you just kind of like turn just a little bit. Maybe you're all the way rotated over. Holding five. Holding for four. Inhale, reach as long as you can. Exhale. 
Holding for three, squeeze bottom, press hips up. And two, in and out through the nose, remember to breathe. And one, bring it all the way back through into that tabletop. Option to vinyasa, option to not, bring it back into your resting posture. Down dog, child's pose. So I'm offering more and more vinyasas as we've moved on in this month. So you guys who've been coming regularly, you will see that progression. You will kind of see if you have to add in these extra vinyasas, you'll be feeling stronger. You're like, I've got this now, I'm nailing it. With this in mind, we have our final progression in this vlog coming up now. We we'll need to take another little look to bring us up back into that tabletop position, landing position in Broga. And we're just going to take a little watch first of all. From my plank position, right hand comes underneath the face, my shoulders stack directly over my wrist. I turn onto the sides of my feet, my left hand lifts. I stack my feet. I then lift up that left leg, bend the knee. Foot taps down behind you and inhale, I rotate. So I'm squeezing my bum, press my hips up tall, rotating my chest towards the side. Inhale, I'm reaching my hand up. And so I find a bit more rotation. Beautiful. So bring it back down. Whilst I'm here as well, I want you to be long through this right leg and the left leg once for you. If you can, a bit more of a challenge, you can come up onto the toes of that left foot, so it's almost like a little bit weightless. Beautiful, we're gonna do this together. So come into that plank position. Beautiful, so right hand underneath the face, right shoulder stacked over right wrist. We turn onto the side of the feet, left hand lifts. We stack the feet, that left foot lifts. We hinge at the knee, tap it down behind us, Maybe it's light through the toes. Maybe we're planning all the way down. Inhale, squeeze bottom, press it all the way up tall. We'll reach as long as you can. We're here for five. We're here for four. Can you lift that chest a little taller? For four. Rotating a little further. For three. So we're finding this opening through the chest, opening through the shoulder. For two. And one. Exhale, bring it back down. Straight over to that other side. Bring it back into your plank position. This time, left hand comes underneath the face. Shoulder stack over wrist. Inhale, reach that right hand open towards the sky. Beautiful. Find that side plank. Stack the feet. Inhale, lift that right leg up. Hinge the knee. Tap it down behind you. Rotate it. Inhale, lift it all the way open. Beautiful. Inhale, reach long through those right fingers. Exhale, can you find a bit more rotation? So it's like you're going to reach it long and down behind you. Beautiful. Hold in for four. For three, remember to breathe. Inhale, lift chest. For two, squeeze bottom left hips. For one, and then exhale, bring it back through all the way. Vinyasa or not, meet in your down dog or child's pose. We have three breaths here. It is the end of our block. Beautiful. You've completed the side plank rock star block. Your rock stars to complete in that because that is a challenging move. It is chest opening, it's strengthening. It's both stretch and strengthening at the same time. So we're strengthening through our shoulder, but we're opening across it to find that rotation and opening through the chest. So it's super good for you. It's like a very mobility-based move. Nice. Final block we're gonna come into is the one that I think is the most fun. I think it's actually my favorite block in the entire part of Broga. We're gonna come into our forearm stand block, our pincher block, pincher around the asana for our forearm stand. So you can welcome into something super cool at the end. So from your down dog, from your child's pose, take it back into this tabletop position. Again, obviously we work our progression. First one is our forearm plank. So drop your elbows down towards the mat. Check this out opposite elbows. You're all gonna do this together. You're super smart people. We can do these first two progressions together. Bring the hands out, take a little interlace of the hands. Then I'm gonna walk my feet back. Feet about hip width apart and pressing into my heels. We've taken into this forearm height. Again, my bum is not coming all the way up, but it's not sagging down. It's kind of in this nice little middle ground here. Beautiful, pressing to the heels. So you're gonna be holding here for 10, holding here for nine, going through my upper back. For seven, pressing to the heels. For six, squeeze the quads. For five, squeeze the core in. For four, three, two, and one. Drop down the knees. Take it back. Two breaths. Child's pose. If you want to hold that down dog, hold that down dog. Strengthen those shoulders. You got this. The last breath. Then bring it back into that tabletop position. Next one, I think everyone has thought this progression, unless you've got super tight shoulders. If you have, it's probably good to even try to attempt this. It shouldn't be too challenging. So, 
Fingertips tapped towards those elbows. Wrong the hands interlacing this time. I want you to bring your hands out to a nice little number 11 shape. So bring them out here so my wrists are going to be in line with my elbows. If you find that your hands start to drop in through this, just tap the thumbs in together. Stop that from happening. So this bit here, it's all the strength of our forearm plank. The starting to work some external rotation of our shoulders. So you've got that position, that nice little number 11 set up. Step the feet back, take it into that plank. Again, we've got another 10 second hold. We're holding for 10. Don't for the upper back. Exhale, press into the heels for nine. For eight, squeeze the legs. For seven, squeeze the core. Beautiful. Make sure those hands aren't dropping in. Keep them rotating out. For four, three, two, and one. Drop down the knees. Child's pose. If you want to take a down dog, you take that downward facing dog. Two breaths. In and out through the nose. You need to shake up the shoulders or anything like that. You can shake up the shoulders. So you can do a modified child's pose where the legs come together, the arms reach back. We find that release across the upper back. That's totally cool as well. One more breath. In and out through the nose. And exhale through that nose. Beautiful. Next round, we're getting a little bit dynamic now. So bring it back to that tabletop position. So we found our forearm plank. Don't, I'm oh, sorry, light, a little more now, a little bit more challenging this time. We're going to build on it. We're going to start to lift the hips up towards the sky. Drop those elbows down. Check you to have opposite elbows. Hands come out to that nice little number 11 shape. Extend the legs out. You can take this with me. I think we're smart enough. We've got this. Press into the heels. Beautiful. Rather than holding it here, this time I'm going to start to walk my feet all the way towards my arms. So you're going to be walking in for five. Everybody walk in. Four. Bring them as close in as you can. For three, two, one. Hips all the way up towards so the feet are as close as they can. We're going to hold here. For five. Lift the head away from the mat. For four. Press the armpits towards the five. For three, for two, and one. Walk it all the way back out. Four on plank. Drop it down. Child's pose or downward facing dog. Wonderful. Two breaths. So that was our dolphin. So we're just finding that bit more elevation through the shoulders. Beautiful. Take one last breath. Then bring it back into your tabletop position. This one I want you to watch over at your screen up because it starts to get a little bit more involved and I want you all to be safe. So, but you've got this. You're strong. Again, tapping the elbows, hands come up from last number 11. We go to this forearm plank. We all know this bit. For the dolphin, we walk it forwards for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. My hips are all the way up high. I'm lifting up as high as I can. Only difference this time. So my hips are dropping down towards the mat. Head is lifted away. Only difference this time is I'm going to be lifting up my right leg. Maybe I start to just hold it here for 5. Maybe I start to take some little mini hops. Maybe they're big hops. Maybe I start to get some air time and I actually pull it into my full pincher. We then take it on that side. We're going to go straight over to the other side. So this time the left leg will be lifting. We start to take this little hop, maybe big hops. Maybe it takes it into our full forearm stand. Try not to bend your back. Try to keep the core engaged, squeezing it in. Pointing up with the legs. Don't let the head drop. Press that ground away. Beautiful. You could be hopping. You could just be holding that left leg up. So there'll be small hops. Could be big hops. Challenge yourself, but be safe. Have a little quick trip around you. Make sure you're not going to crash into anything or your feet are going to knock anything on the way up. Have a quick check, space check. We've all got space. We're all good. Right, we're going to do this together. Hands come down. Take it, elbows, taking tap elbows. Hands come out. That external rotation is so super important. It allows us to really engage our shoulders. Step it back into. Our forearm plank. We're going to start to walk the feet forwards for five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Head lifts away from the mat. Inhale, that right leg lifts up towards the sky. Beautiful. We're either hopping or holding for five, for four, maybe you've caught some air time. For three, maybe you're holding up in that pincher. For two, and one, right leg comes back down. Beautiful. This time, the left leg lifts all the way up. You've got this. We're either holding here, or we start to take those little hops. For five, maybe big hops. For four, 
Maybe you've got a hold for three, for two, if you've got that hold, engage that core, squeeze the legs for one, and bring it back down towards your mat. Beautiful. Walk the feet back out, bring the asa or not. Knee in down dog or child's pose. Probably we've been upside down. We probably want to take a child's pose. So I advise you bring your arms towards the mat. Maybe the arms drop back. You find the knees to the shoulders. Forehead relaxes down towards the mat. Take a couple of breaths here. In through the nose, out through the nose. So if you're new to inversions, um, or newer to inversions, should I say, um, or you're not quite you don't quite find that stability there. Always take a child's pose afterwards. It stops us from kind of having that horrible dizzy effect afterwards. It allows us to kind of recenter ourselves, first of all. One more breath in your child's pose. Nice. Then the final part of this block, we've got our dynamic dolphin. It doesn't necessarily have to be from a dolphin though. There is options for everyone. So bringing it down. So I'm going to throw an extra option there because we're at the end of the month this week. So I'm going to throw an extra option for anyone who wants to take it as well. Anyone who already has their Pinterest feeling super strong, but please, please, please do be careful. However, let me walk you through these other options first of all. Elbows drop down, tap opposite elbows, we come out to that number 11. We bring it into our forearm plank. The dynamic part of this is the nose is going to be coming forward, down, tapping between the thumbs. Inhale, bring it back. So I'm pressing the heels, exhale, take it forward. Well, my toes, pats down, and it's up to rest back into those heels. Option number two is I bring it into my dolphin. Same idea, hips tall. Exhale, take it forwards. Inhale, take it up, back. Exhale, take it forwards. Inhale, take it up, back. Arm gets pressed back. Final option, take a look at this. Maybe if you've got your picture already, you can take it from here. So the exhale takes it forwards down. Inhale, presses it back up. Wonderful. So here are your three options, that last one. It's very challenging, so only do that if you feel super secure in your pinchers, in your forearm stand. If you feel that, if you feel okay with that, you go for it. If not, don't do it. Cool. Pick your option. Get yourself set up. Make it that forearm plank. Everybody forearm plank, first of all. Elbows. Hands out, number 11. Cool. You're staying in forearm plank. You stay in that forearm plank. You're going for the dolphin. Walk the feet in. Hips up tall. Lift the head away from the mat. If you're taking it up into that pincher, you flick up into your pincher right now. So flick, sensibly come up into it and find that hold. Beautiful. And we've got 10 of these. Beautiful. Everyone prepare. Inhale. Exhale, nose comes forward down for one. Inhale, brings it back up. Exhale, nose comes down for two. Inhale, back up. Exhale, takes it down for three. Inhale, up. Exhale, take it down for four. Green dolphin, lift the head away. Exhale, take it forward down for five. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward down for six. Maybe you're in the pincher. Trust that balance. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, take it seven. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, nose comes down for eight. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, nose comes down nine. Inhale, up. Last one. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, take it up. Hold. Three, two, and one. Safely bring it back down towards the mat. Everybody, take a child's pose. Beautiful. Forehead comes down towards the mat. We're taking three breaths here. Everyone's been predominantly been upside down. So we want to find that nice recentering motion in our child's pose. So we really come back to that breath. When we go upside down, if we're not used to it, or maybe we haven't done it for a while, we're just not thinking it through, often we hold the breath when we're upside down. And I want you to focus on not doing that. So as you move through this, when you come back next week, I want you to focus on that breath really being key. The child's pose is something that can really help us to come back to that. Take another little breath here. Beautiful. Then from your child's pose, we're going to bring it up into some stretches. So bring it all the way up into your knees. We're going to work on opening our shoulders. We put a lot of pressure for our shoulders. We want to find a nice little opening. I know we have that opening for our rock star block. We want to make sure we end with nice open muscles, not, not tense ones. So from here, inhale, lift your right hand all the way up towards the sky. Bend that elbow, take it behind your head, about to watch out for your ponytail. Beautiful if you have one, that is. Some people don't. Lift up the left hand, take it to the right elbow. And from here, on each inhale, I want you to draw that elbow down the back, reach it all the way as far as you can. 
Exhale, we're to consolidate this, drawing your abdomen. Beautiful. Inhale, we walk it down a little further. We're stretching out through our tricep here. And then exhale, draw it in. Inhale, maybe this time the hand, I can't do this, the hand reaches up, maybe take hold of that other hand. I don't have very open shoulders on the yoga teacher, just so you don't have to. Exhale, consolidate. Two more breaths, inhale, walk it down. Exhale, squeeze it in. Last breath, inhale. And exhale. Inhaling and exhale, release. Beautiful, other side. This time, left hand reaches up. Bend that elbow, tap the hand down behind the back. Lift up that right hand, take it to the elbow. Inhale, lengthen through that tricep, walk it down the back. Exhale, draw in the belly, consolidate. Inhale, walking a little bit further. Exhaling, maybe that arm sweeps round, take hold of the other, maybe it just stays where it is. Exhale, inhale, come reach down a little further, maybe the hand's walking a little closer. Exhale, consolidate. If you've got the hands bound, maybe you can get a tighter bind, properly taking, maybe holding onto the wrist of each one. Exhale, bring it in. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhaling. And exhale. Release. Beautiful. Now we're going to take a stretch down into our chest. So if you want this to be more shoulder, you can take it out into this T-shape. We're going to be laying on our mat, um, the wrist in line with the shoulder. If you want it to be a bit more chest, you take it into a cactus position. Or if you just don't quite have enough space in wherever you're practicing. The elbow is going to be in line with the shoulder and the wrist is going to be in line with the elbow. Let me show you where that is now. So bringing it down towards your mat or your belly, either picking that T-shape or picking the cactus. I'm going cactus, so I'm lacking a bit of space here. Take a little look over towards your right hand side. Check that either your wrist is in line with your shoulder or your elbow is in line with your shoulder and your wrist in line with your elbow, depending on which variation you've taken. Then turn your head over towards the left, so right ear down towards the mat. Left hand comes underneath the left shoulder. You start to press into that hand. Start to lift the left side of the chest and the shoulder away from the mat. The right side stays down. Maybe you start to lift up that left hip coming onto your right hand side, finding a bit more of a stretch. The head can kind of be hollowed or it can be laying down towards the mat, whatever is most comfortable. Maybe the foot taps down. Maybe not. We've got two breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, maybe you take it rolling a bit further. Be kind to your shoulder though. Exhaling. Inhale, bring it back through the centre. Take an exhale. Release that arm out. So take a look over to your left. Maybe the arm is extended, wrist in line with the shoulder. Maybe the elbow is in line with the shoulder and the wrist in line with the elbow. Bring your left ear down towards the mat. Look to your right. Right hand comes underneath right shoulder. Inhale, we start to press into that hand. Left shoulder stays down as the right side falls away. Maybe the right hip draws away from the mat, stacking on top of the leg. Maybe the foot taps down behind you, try not to take out a plant in the same way that I just did. Beautiful. We've got two breaths here. The left shoulder stays pressing down towards the mat if you can. Inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale, find a bit more space. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale, take it back over onto your front. However you want to. Take a little roll all the way over onto your back. And we're going to have our final little Shavasana. So draw the hands out to um, alongside of you, palms facing upwards. You can come to about a hip width apart. And when you say inhale, draw your chin in towards your chest, lift your head away from the mat, find length across your neck. Then exhale, keep that length as you bring it back down towards the mat. And exhale, draw your shoulders away from the ears. Let me close off the eye. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, side out through the mouth. This time, inhale through the nose, move it into the belly, the ribs, the chest. And exhale through the mouth. Last one. Inhale into the belly, ribs, chest. And exhale, relax it all down towards the mouth. For this final minute of class, I need to find that nice relaxation. Allow your body to fully relax down towards the mat. And I want you to imagine that the ground beneath you is a soft beach. 
I want you to feel your body sinking into the sand in that nice, relaxing way. Feel the sand beneath your fingers, your toes. Feel the soft lapping of water against your feet. Feel the waves start to wash up over your legs and hips. And when they come back down into the ocean, they're taking away any stress or tension. So the waves start to roll up over the chest and shoulders. And then rolling back down, taking away any anxiety or stress. Getting rolling all the way up to your neck, over the head, nice and softly. And gently pulling away any mental tension, physical frustration, anything with it. Feel yourself fully relaxed down towards the mat. Feel the sun gently beating down on your skin, breathing you back to life. And with that energy that you're taking in, gently start to bring from the life back to the body. Maybe wiggle the fingers, maybe wiggle the toes, maybe take a nice deep stretch overhead, maybe hug the knees up towards the chest, and take a gentle roll over towards your right hand side. Use the hands to support you to make your way to a comfortable seated position. And in Broga, we always like to finish with Namaste, but we like to say what it means to us. You'll notice that I always use the same one every time. So Namaste means to me a thank you. So bring your hands together at heart centre in prayer position. For me, it's a thank you to yourself for coming to practice, holding time in your body and your mind. It's a thank you to your fellow Brogies for sharing this virtual space with you. Bring your thumbs to the space between the eyebrows. Bow your heads down towards the mouth. Namaste. Namaste from me to you. Thank you very much for coming and joining me on the mat today. If anyone has any questions, feel free to drop them in the live chat. I promise you, I answer them. I'm happy to stick around for another like five, 10 minutes to answer your questions if you have them. If you're kind of working on your pincher, you need a few more tips. I'm happy to demo some other little tips and tricks of anything you're struggling with. If you're like, I, don't, I, can't, I feel it here or I feel it there. I can't quite get the engagement or I don't quite understand what you meant here. Ask away. Happy to. Or if you have to run away now, maybe you have to go back to work or you just can't think of anything now and you want to find out later. You can catch me um, on Instagram. I'll just pop it in there. I am at Charlotte underscore oops, Sands on Instagram, so feel free to add me, tag me, message me with all of your inversion-y stuff or broga stuff that you're working on. If you're like been coming every week for the last month, you're like, oh, I'm feeling super strong now. Tag me in your stuff, tag me in your channel around your daily dogs, your pinches, whatever it is. Tag broga in it as well. Like we wanna see, we'd love to see you. We can't see you when we're teaching anymore. So it's a bit sad for us, um, but we'd love to be able to get that feedback from you. It would be awesome. Um, and if you want to practice with me again, I will be back on the mat tomorrow morning for an advanced power yoga class with Broga. Almost got my words all mixed up there. Um, so we're going to be working on really cool stuff like planche, so floating your legs away from that, just balancing on the hands, our crow, um, among other things as well. We're obviously getting a nice little stretch strengthening through the bottom and stuff as well. So it's an all body class that one, but an advanced level. Um, so if you, as long as you know your vinyasas, I mean, if you were kind of almost getting there with your pinches, you are ready for advanced yoga. You got this. Otherwise, if you want a little bit more of a lower body work, you can join me again on Thursday, 12 o'clock. We're going to be working lower body boot camp. So expect all of the lunges, all of the booty work. Even if you're a guy, everybody needs a strong bum. We've been sat on it quite a lot, so we probably need to strengthen it. Um, so join me for either one of those. If nobody has any questions, oh, maybe you'll have to run away. Um, that's totally fine. Um, but otherwise, yeah, feel free to get in contact and have a fab rest of your Tuesday. Hope I managed to eliminate the back to work blues after a bank holiday. Have a fab day, brogies. See you all again tomorrow morning.